charge of the facility with K-9 by city and school police, a firearm was located inside of the building and securely confiscated. Tensions running hot at a local high school today after a Pittsburgh public school student allegedly brought a gun inside. It forced Carrick High School into lockdown for much of the day. Chris Hoffman is live with reaction from parents. Chris. Ken and Christine, we spoke with parents on and off camera outside of Carrick High School, and they are not too happy with the whole situation. One of them in particular wants to know, with all the security measures that are in place in schools today, how does a gun get inside the building? For parents like Maggie, who didn't want to be shown on camera, a gun at school is alarming. How did the gun get in today with detectors and security guards? Where are the workers? Where? Her son is in the ninth grade at Carrick, and until this afternoon, she was only aware of what was going on because of Facebook. I'm going home getting all these phone calls. After the third phone call, I came up here hoping to run into somebody because I'm irate. Then as we spoke with her, the call came from Pittsburgh Public about what happened. The district says a social media threat was made about a gun inside the school. Following a search of the facility with K-9 by city and school police, a firearm was located inside of the building and securely confiscated. And according to PPS, the student was arrested and is facing charges. I'm worried. I'm concerned. The lockdown was lifted in the afternoon. Tomorrow, the school will be under a modified lockdown. A modified lockdown means that no one is permitted in or out of the building without a prior appointment. But for Maggie, this doesn't solve the problem. It don't console me. It, it's not going to help. What are we going to do to prevent it? Pittsburgh Public asks for parents to not give their children access to guns. Now, as this investigation continues and we learn more about the charges the student would be facing, look for those updates both on air as well as online. Live in Carrick this evening, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.